Hi guys, my name is Roger and welcome to a new video. Yes, yes, it does work. It does work with a Zulu ID. I have to take down the other video because uh, with the help of the subscribers, viewers, the, the fans of the SP-808, they pointed me in the right direction about getting it to work. And therefore the shout out to the people who left comments on the video to give the right directions, to give me hope, to send me positive vibes. So yes, yes happy thank you so much guys thank you so much i was thinking too to to simple uh, as a consumer in plug and play uh, way so insert it and get it to work like the one from the mpc 2000 xl that one works immediately but this one you have to configure you have to configure the sd card and i will show you how it works in this video i will create a file that you can download that you can install on your sd card and then your SP808 should work also because it works so you can play with your SP808 without having that whining zip drive uh, noise but what I do notice is that it's an image created onto this SD card so when you use your computer for example to put the demo discs uh, which I also have you're not able to transport them because the CF cards of my of the MPC card reader they can be read by the computer and then you can transfer files and you can use the wave converter but in this case it doesn't work with the SP808 but guys guys you can continue using your SP808. So let's take a look um, how it uh, looks like. Okay, so here we go. So we got over here the SP808. It's connected the Zulu ID. It's connected the right way with the normal uh, IDE uh, and uh, power cable. So the SD card is now not inserted. Okay, when I turn it on, the SP808 starts up normally like it should. You see over here, light blinking. Five times, it means there is no card detected. And now I'm in the effects mode. So I can use the effects of the SP-808. This one is connected and the card is not inserted. So let me insert the card. Now it's blinking three times. The thing is, it's not starting right now. so. I will restart my SP. Now you saw one time blinking, which means that there's a card and that there is an image detected. So at this moment, my SP has started. I will do it again. And then you can see the screen over here. So I turn it on. SP-808, Emix Studio, and it's loading, it's starting up, it's starting up, so if I press sample, then you can see over here, I still got 24 minutes left, 31 seconds, let me do this, I start sampling, it's sampling now. I stop sampling. Now working, completed. And a new sample is over here. But what I always do is shift and then enter, which is safe. Then it says override all. I say yes, enter. Are you sure? Yes, I am. It's now saving. Completed. So I'll turn it off. I will turn it on again. It's restarting. And now it should start with the five samples. With the five samples. Perfect. Sampling. How many minutes left? Left 24, 23. Perfect. So it's all based on a zip drive of 100 MB. But which is fine, which is fine. It does work. It does work. Let's go to the computer now to check out the file of the SD card. So I have inserted the micro SD card into my computer. And then you can see over here the zip drive image uh, 100 MB and also the Zulu ID in it file, the ini file. 
in text edit you can see the following that the device is put on zip 100 well in the file you can download on my Google Drive it's already set uh, on zip 100 so you're good to go I now will share two websites where you can buy the Zulu IDE solution for the SP-808 so one is uh, as you can see from rabbit hole computing I uh, I will put the links in the description of the video and uh, this one is 120 uh, US dollars and the other one is yes from Zempra zone and it's now 149.95 why is this more expensive well because of the cell also they include the mounting tray and the 64 gigabyte micro SD card which is not necessary at all because with a micro SD card from one gigabyte you're already good to go but okay this one has also an image for 650 MB image and it comes with the Molex power adapter which was not included when I bought my unit as you can see there's an eject button also over there which is very nice so that's the reason why this one is 150 so okay let me finish this video because otherwise it will take too long amazing guys it works it works you can you can buy it you can buy it and it will work it will work so um yes back back on videos um, um nice to have you here again and um, if you like the videos yeah please subscribe uh, um, touch the bell those kind of things um I don't like to promote it, but anyway, um, it's nice. It's nice to to do this. Um, so what? Um, I'll, yeah, what 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 will I do? Um, um, the coming video. So uh, we got over here the Krumer Seven, which is a very nice electric piano. I got the Roland uh, Phantom Six. I'm not happy about it. A Jupiter X, nice also, but still. But look at this uh, Alpha Juno Two with uh, MIDI control from MIDI Club. Um, found it online and um, it works amazing um Vincent xt back in the studio uh mx1 tr8 akai force yeah I've replaced the mv now it's the akai force um place this one again also found one uh, online for very cheap um i love i love the sound of it and then <laughs> gp8000 and the Vincent new in the studio my god <laughs> kill myself um anyway this was about the sp808 and it works guys you can enjoy your sp808 see you we stay in touch